across these three organizations, we're seeing change. Uh, this is a concluding remark, guys. Maybe you can tell us what's next. How can you know the startup scene feature in the family business discussion more regularly without putting all that pressure on one person, but more literally it's a board decision and everyone feels comfortable with the potential of fail for failure, potential to, for it to go wrong. Um, maybe you can just give just, you know, a bit of a, a piece that we can then quote later on and, and, and make a bit of a fuss about just to say like, look, this is what family businesses would be looking for, this is what will attract their attention so that eventually when we fine tune our startups and we're ready to pitch them, the family business funds, which are quite material when you put them all together in particular, what will allow those startups re 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 realistically and respectfully sit down with these guys and go through a formalized process that allows a real good chance of startups being invested in by family businesses. I know, Ben, you want to start? Just, mm. uh, just a concluding remark. Like, what, what would your, you and your future board look, like, look at when, you know, attracting startups and what would help you make a decision that is spread amongst your board rather than just you taking it on yourself to, make, to take that leap, to make that call? Um, just, I'll pass. Luke, I'll, I'll start with you. <laughs> I think I think when you look at family business, you need to dissect family business into two parts, right? You have a family business that has multiple investments, and then you have a family business that has one investment that is present in one field, right? You look at family business. Most family businesses don't go on before go go on after the third generation. We're in the fourth, and there's a recipe to to, to that success. Too many cooks spoil the broth. Now, what do I mean by this? I mean that you can't have too many people doing the same thing. So I think it's very important for family business that is in one sector to start looking at other interests whereby the members can focus on um, uh, diversification. I really feel strongly about diversification, and I feel that um, uh, it is the right, right approach, and every business, is, business started from somewhere. You see, every business started from nothing. Um, it's just, uh, it's just um, uh, an amalgamation of ideas and people willing to push, pull the same rope and, and, and focus on an idea and a vision. So, uh, when, it, when, it, when, when a startup comes to the table, I think there is a lot of uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, different opinions. People want to invest in ICT, people want to invest in distribution, people want to invest in manufacturing. This is, our, this is the case for us, you see. At the end of the day, we choose to put our money into... So it's, it's a bit of a sectorial approach, what you're trying to say? Exactly. So it's, we invest our money where we feel we are most competent. Okay. You see, so if somebody came to us and told us, listen, we have this brand new brand we're creating, we create it, for example. Let me use this example, Stretta, right? It's a beer. Yeah, we are in alcohol distribution. This would be interesting. Okay. So, so it would be good, maybe, as a communication, sort of like this, to publicly present a profile of interest. For example. Family business by family or business by business sure. to see what sort of startup sectorially exactly. you're interested in. But if somebody came to us and told us, listen, I want to start manufacturing sunbeds. We'd look at it. It's like second tier for you. But it's like, okay, do we yeah. have an understanding in this, in this space? No. I think, I think this is a really good next step, and uh, this is obviously good feedback for us, because, again, as we move into that process, we want to attract your attention in a meaningful way. It doesn't waste anyone's time, but at the same time, gives a good and realistic chance to startups to, to come in. Yeah. Um, Bench, maybe just, just to a concluding remark. Yes, um, what I can say is basically times are evolving very rapidly. Um, Lucas' business is four generation. We, we happen to, I happen to be in the fifth generation and throughout the last hundred years we've seen uh, companies set up, um, you know, we'll had, you'd have the cash cows that do well for 10, 15, even 20 years some longer, some shorter, but it's always evolving. The market is always evolving, the industries are evolving, um, uh, the tech is always evolving, the geopolitics are always evolving, so it is very important to keep diversifying, as, as Lucas is saying, because 
what uh, what is doing well today might not be the, the same. It's a, the same. It's a really good point. The success will might not. You know, so you always have to bridge the gap and uh, replace from uh, one company with another to keep to to keep on going. I think if we present the case because we would say startup investments are risky, but staying standing still is also very risky. So yeah, essentially, definitely, definitely. A re responsible businesses need to keep looking at what's next and what's new. So this is going to help the flow. The ship needs to be steered and if it keeps going in the same direction, uh, eventually you will, you will hit, you know, something. Something. So <laughs> I, I think, I think your, your question for me was how do you get it accepted in the boardroom? Correct. And family businesses uh, have a lot of internal family politics. Absolutely. And this is, this is the challenge. This is uh, what I've seen in my family and, and I've, I've discussed with many other families. Um, and yeah, di diversification 100% is what has is, is allowed these family businesses to, to keep on going. Um, and so, you know, I think just as you may have internal support for finance or marketing, um, you would have, uh, you know, today we're, we're outsourcing marketing, we're outsourcing our specific roles. Um, but it would be a function where there is a certain autonomy to the family business to look at startups where you know the board have acceptance to you know put money down on on what a specific team would, would put forward right. so having that access thanks for me. I, I think, I, think, think I think a last just a last remark i think that all startups should really study the market at the moment in malta with regards to the businesses that could assist them you need to look for strategic partnerships find businesses that are bigger than you that can help you achieve some kind of parabolic growth in your business that will accelerate and accelerate your business to make money faster. So whatever the business may be, find a business, approach them, have the courage to approach them, make sure your pitch deck is on form and... Uh, like a matching. I, yeah. <laughs> like a Tinder for startups. Literally, and literally. I mean, that's actually a really good idea. <laughs> that's actually a really good idea. <laughs>